Greetings gamers, hello YouTube and welcome back. This is Sinlar Gaming 101. I am Sinlar and we are in the middle of Final Fantasy Tactics Souls of Destiny, the alternate storyline where we have been thrown into finding the Zodiac Stones. In the last episode we managed to make it to Lionel Castle, uh, get betrayed as usual, go to Gaug, get betrayed again. We uh, actually got left behind by Rudvik. So Rudvik still turns out to be the guy who just wants the Holy Stones. Um, Mustadio turns out to be not a bad guy, and we actually got him into our party. Um, instead of Agrius being the one that is captured because it's not the princess, uh, we have Simon as the one in trouble at Lionel Castle. And so we do the same thing, come down through Wargelis, and we meet up with Elidibs. We met up with Elidibs and had a short conversation with him. A little bit more of that deep, thought-provoking, like, what can the stones really do conversation. And then went to Barrios Valley, where you may have noticed we rescued Isabella uh, from the mighty Dark Knight, Agrius. So that was mildly exciting. Uh, I did do a little bit of grinding up so that I can go because Simon is to be executed at Golgoron. Um, we all know how that's going to go. Unless there's something that we don't know yet. Um, I did do a little bit of leveling up. I'm trying to get some people. So first of all, I have everybody at an even everybody I'm going to use. Sorry, Mustadio. I know what you're like. I don't need to see you in action again. Um... I did, first of all, you'll notice, I did decide to dump the generics. I'm sorry, generics, but when I have a base 4 and then a powerhouse that can really fill the needed gap without needing extra training, that's the one I went with. Um, so, I did do a bunch of training. Some decisions were made about abilities and how I wanted people, because I do want all of these non-generics in their base classes, especially these non-generics that are different. Um, Connor, I've made a decision, but I'm not going to reveal that yet. He still needs a little bit of training. He actually got his uh, class unlocked, but I don't have many abilities in it yet, so I want to train him in it a little bit. So we'll go punch art for now. Uh, Chelsea, right now I'm going with item. I really don't know what I'm going to do with her, although she has a high MA. Hmm... Maybe I need to use her as a mage. White magic might not be a bad idea for her. But right now I decided item just because um, laser requires a lot of MP, and so being able to throw ethers in the middle of battle uh, kind of important. Jenna, we already knew, is going to be a druid second. So she's learned some druid stuff. It's been fantastic. Um, not much, but enough to, to really be useful in battle. Lala we still have as a chemist. Um, it's not where I want her to be, ultimately, but it is where she is for now. And then Isabella, we still have white magic. I, again, it's not where I want her to be, but for right now she needs some more levels before she can open up the class that I want. I also managed to find battle gear. Oh, I need to do some re-equipping of some helmets. I want ninja hoods here, and here, and you can have the green beret. So I did find some battle gear, which has been fantastic. Uh, just a little bit more hit points. It doesn't give me a lot of magic points, uh, but I should be good to go there. I don't know if I pointed... I didn't point it out. I don't know if anybody caught it, but Lala now has move plus two. Um, Connor is very close to move to. I think probably I should get it for Chelsea at some point. Um, and then Isabella, I want to have move to as well. Just again for battlefield control and being able to move around. So I'm going to double check my save here real quick. None of that information is going to change except the time. And then. Here we go. Goal today is to get through these three fights. End of chapter three. Uh, or chapter, end of chapter two into chapter three. 
I don't know how it's gonna go. This fight right here is notoriously the second hardest fight of the chapter. Which is weird because there's three fights left in the chapter. So the fact that this is the sec typically the second hardest. Uh, the hardest one being the solo fight against Capgarian, which I think I'm kind of ready for, but I'm not sure. So we're going to find out the hard way. Um, we do want to control the high wall first. So let's drop you and you and an item. And then one and two. Whose job is to hoof it up to the high wall. If I can control the way up, unless they have a lot of Unless my opponents have a lot of vertical, which the classes may have changed. Probably have changed. Um, but unless they have a lot of vertical, it's not going to matter. Okay, same setup. We do have an archer up top. We do have Simon there. We have Moloch, which we, who we saw in the last uh, fight. He's just like, we'll wait for your friends. Interesting. Like a solo archer and Moloch. This is it. Oh, he actually stabbed him! Huh? The enemy! We're too late. Boo! Never killed a holy man before, but that's weird. <laughs> okay. Doesn't matter. I hope you enjoyed the show. I wanted to see you at your best. Archer. Two druids. A ninja. Para ninjas. Okay, I was really hoping that wasn't going to be it. Any last words? Oh shit. How poetic. Where's the stone? Stone? Stop playing dumb. The stone you stole from the cardinal. You're with the one who stole it. Just hand it over. If you want it, you'll have to take it. No problem. Alright, so the bonus is normally the princess doesn't get stabbed. <laughs> normally the princess turns into an archer and... Gafgarian reveals himself. We will get to see what Malik is able to do. So that'll be fun. Um, the ramps up are a little different, maybe? Enemy unit comp is definitely different. Uh, two, two druids instead of time mages. And this is still... They beat all enemies. Kind of mission. I knew your name, Connor, before this job. Rumor says you helped defeat the warrior Magnus. In theory, impressive. Yeah, and? Nothing, really. It's just that you have a name and make for a fine mark on my resume. Nice. Is that all the world is to you? Is it all a game? Just one fight after another and counting your treasure? Why not? Life is what you choose to make of it. Is there any meaning other than what you choose to believe? For me, it is a game. Perhaps it's more for you, but your belief doesn't make it so. Delusion brings on its own comfort. Nice. So Moloch working for the bad guy, as usual. Shadow Stitch, he's an assassin. Oh no, that's gonna make this hard. In every sense. Ninja's gonna go after... Oh, oh, time magic. Oh, ninja, that's interesting. So she got slowed and stopped, and that's gonna hurt. Connor gets slowed. I need to take out Moloch as fast as I can. He did get the assassin class, though, which is interesting. That archer also has time magic. Uh, I want to check you out. Use hand. Okay, capture tackle jump to not bad. Alright, let's see a little bit of green magic. 131 health, 149 health, and I can get you both. What's the countdown on it? Five. So I need to run you into a corner. Stasis sword on me. Boink! 
I don't have to worry about the spell. And then we're just going to go this way to try and take out Moloch as fast as possible. You tell me that life is without meaning, without purpose. I don't deny that it can be. How can you deny that it can't have meaning? Meaning. I just did. Did you miss it? Are you paying attention? I don't believe in all the legends of the Church of Ajora, but if a fictional life can affect the way people live and think, how can a real life be incapable of meaning? Are you telling me that people believing a lie is meaningful? Delusion is worse than ignorance. At least the ignorant can keep looking. I mean, the delusional can keep looking. It's not a matter of can, it's a matter of will. Oh, you're gonna deal damage. 65 twice! Counter tackle for the push, I'll take that. Teleporting druid, those. Fought quite a, quite a few druids in various Valley. I'm a fan of magic, which means I'm glad I have it on my team. But there goes Malak. So this is where this fight gets really interesting. Normally you're hugely out- vastly outnumbered. Like, they're down two or three people in this fight. Damn it, I didn't expect you to be this strong. Retreat! Gafgarian retreats, but it's still a beat all enemies quest. <laughs> so now comes the really hard part, where we actually have to finish everything else. Um... Yeah. I mean, normally Gifgarian is a lot harder than that, like I said, partly due to two or three extra units. His name is Elrond, and he's an archer. But he's human, and not an elf. Okay. Well, uh, job levels, and I need to get her over here under some cover. moved really fast. Um, I can't fix you. So let's just do this. Stop is cured. Get you up the ramp. Whoop, whoop. 30 hit points. Twice though, because you dual level 60. Not bad, not bad, not bad, not bad. 19 might be a little over level. Ew! Ooh! Water added bonus. 70, no auto potion proc, so that hurt. Um, let's get you a high potion. And we'll just wait here. Uh, no. Let's move up into a corner. More people on the wall. As soon as I control the high ground, which now I do, I guess not quite because now Lala's just dead. Oops. That's gonna. Well, it could hurt. Oh. That was gross. We're done, Bob. Math jokes. Uh, let's flash rain. Well, yeah, let's flash rain. See, flash rain is just like my catch all spell. I don't need anything else. You need some hit points back. So let's punch our chakra. Stasis sword, this guy. Phew. Nope, no stop, but that's okay. And then get up the stairs. Can't hide from this guy. Phew. That druid's gonna come this way. It is not a good idea for him. Phew. No proc and auto potion. Yes! Which 
seconds, I actually made hit points on that. I love those hits. They're like, here, I'm going to hit you. Boom! Ooh, caught the shield. Fool me once. I need my phoenix down. While I was training, I had a couple of battles against some geomancers, and then some battles against a bunch of casters. They always... They didn't always, but really bad ones. Hey, we don't talk about Bruno. The really bad ones always ended up costing me a lot of supplies. So, um, what are you going to do? You're going to move closer. You're probably going to use a spell because you haven't done anything yet. I can't hit you physically. You have a druid robe. Okay. Let's see if I can osmos him. What's the range on osmos? And I do want to osmos. Oh, yeah. Let's just wait. It's risky, but it should be worth. Ah, you decided to change targets. That's not surprising. I need my canvas. Because unfortunately I've set up that I'm going to be a really good target. Oh. Wave fist. Ouch. Mmm. Oh. Dodged. Encountered. That hurt. I might have to redo this. I don't... Nope. If I can get her up, if I can get Isabella up standing and up the wall, which is a tall order. out the archer. And high potion. You. So that should be close to enough. With flash rain being a possibility, although he was set up Guarded, yes, Isabella for the B A Ness. All right, let's use high potion um, here, and then let's just wait and get her turn to come around faster. He didn't use flash rain when he had a really good shot, so chances are he doesn't have it. It should just be a matter of punching him in the back. Oh, he has Hamido! I knew that, too. I have to use my magical abilities on you. Move here, I'll inherit a crystal. It's from an archer. Fire 2. Eh, I'm not planning on using that. I really could use the magic points back. Need magic? Let's go to Stone Grasp. Get my. My semi tank up. See, my physical classes are a nice split. I have the ranged class, and then I have the speed striker in Chelsea. I have the tank, the true tank, 
in Isabella, and then I have one that's kind of balanced in the form of Connor. Alright, Jeremy should come closer. He should be out of range because of his double run. I can punch Chelsea in the back and nail this guy at the same time. Yep. We'll do it, because then we're done. <laughs> Chelsea doesn't die. Sorry, baby. You're gonna miss that old man. But is he really, like, is he really gone? He was... I guess he died in Chapter 3 in the original, didn't he? It is Simon's fate to die. Ooh, a Kung Fu knot. As a helmet. Alright, so this is gonna be interesting. I do wonder if I can glitch my way past Lionel Castle. In the original game, Isabella's sad. I can't believe he's gone. He was like a father to me. <laughs> I'm so sorry. He used to tell me that good was like a candlelight that makes the evil and darkness scatter. But all candles burn. Burn out and darkness swallows everything. <laughs> it was a poor analogy, sister. The sun always rises to banish the dark and the good that Simon has done lives on in you. What if his body? Good question. I hoped you knew. Bad answer. Uh, so anyway, in the original tactics, there's a glitch where Lionel Castle is marked. It's the only... I don't... Well, and actually, I guess I don't know if it's a glitch because it's the only time it matters. Normally, your orange dots end at the... Or, or happen at the end of a path, and so there's no way to get past them. Um, most of the time, like Dorter, when you have unexpected orange dots, uh, you can't bypass them at all. So this one is interesting because in the in the regular game there is a if you click on Lionel Castle it'll take you into the fight right? As normal. But if you click past it you actually can just bypass Lionel Castle and go on to do whatever you need to do. And since we've been area locked for a few battles, like, that would be useful. Um, I, however, am just going to save and move straight in to what should be an interesting fight. I don't know what's going to happen here. Like, do I get the fight? Is the fight going to be totally changed like Zaylin? Because when we walked into Zaylin, we actually got to be Wygraf for a little bit. Um, you know, do I still get the one-on-one -on -one fight? Who's it going to be against? Probably Malik, but... Oh, I wanted to check out this Kung Fu knot. You can't equip it. Martial Artist Headband. HP 20. MP 15. Power 1. Cancel a bunch of stuff. Monks and Fencers. You are currently neither, which sucks. <laughs> but that's okay. Alright. We can't use that. We already saved. Here we go! At the gate of Lionel Castle. What's gonna happen here? I don't know. I'm excited to find out. Capacity 1. There is a 1 on 1. Let's put you back here, because it's a good choice. And then this map is actually backwards. Uh, this is not the front. And it is where I want to put everybody. Go. I have the mobility to, to get in, but this is normally an ambush fight. And you get surrounded, and if you're at the if you accidentally put yourself at the the back, like I should be at the back, and so you put yourself at the back, and then it turns around, and it's like that's actually the front, and now you're in the middle of everything, including a pair of summoners. Wait there, I'll open the gate. Familiar voice. It's not Kafkarian because he hasn't shown up yet. Welcome, Connor. Malik. Ooh. Oh, that's new! 
Normally he's waiting inside. What does this mean the inside fight is? Dry Cloud, you had to know a trap was ready for you, right? Careless. That is Ramzabale's fate. Like, always. There's Malik. We both knew I was coming. The way I see it, you're the fool for staying for me. I like it. It was time for me to see what you had myself. Okay. So what does that mean the next fight? The next fight's gonna be. So we have Malik. Pay attention to that. I gotta get rid of him. I don't know if he's gonna stay dead. Because normally he's like central to chapter 3, right? Uh, 36 damage, 42 damage at 40%. Mm, you got a lot better chance here. Let's go this. And wait. The trick is over to counter. Probably should equip her with focus at this point. Ooh. Ouch. Let's just cancel that out and then wait and I didn't go get Phoenix down so hopefully I don't lose because of that. Malik the Assassin steps over and step forward so that might be a really good choice for me. Um, let's see. Actually let's look at what I'm facing here. The Cardinal has an Accuser Staff. Staffs seem to do a lot of weird stuff. Regens the user. Okay, so he'll want to hit me with that at some point. The Impure King job command. So he does have his stone. Let's go here and wait. Stays the sword, and if I can get everybody shuffled into the corner and stopping that knight is absolutely going to help me do that. If I can get everybody shuffled into this corner, it's going to be fantastic. We'll go flash rain four, but it should be the three that haven't moved yet. Let's encourage not gathering together. At distance, he's got rain spell range. Maybe the region is just a natural region. Carve model that hurts. Or if Chelsea would make a good kill. All right, damage. I'll take that. That was huge. Charge three. I don't like that one as much. Bio. Come on. Auto potion. Yes! I wish I had bigger potions, but I don't. Um, can you get behind them? Yes, you can. Take him out, please. Woo! Yes, okay, two down. Four to go. Chelsea, probably not gonna do much but keep the party alive. Especially with Jenna being up front. As those knights and Malak get closer to me, I can run around. Flash ring, which would be fun. Dead. Oh, that's bad. Missed. That's better. Magic sap. Love magic sap. Can't use a lot of spells on her. Because it it does. It deals damage to the caster. 
265 to the face. There we go. Stopped. That's a good start. I have three more of those. Green magic flash rain is going to come before share or after share. So let zone share away. And we'll take two more with it. Come on. No! Oh, if I had gotten that archer. Um, who's he aiming for? I could nail him now. And I've got a wall of dead bodies to help defend me from the knights. Woo! Alright, no charge damage. Cool, cool. This fight is a lot easier than it normally is. Normally this one's like, hard. Not so this time. And maybe that's just preparation, but... Okay, that's fair. I've gotten two off on your team, like... It had to happen eventually, right? Oh, but you missed the second one! Go to the land of the dead! Auto version? Yes, because the best healing he has is Chakra. <laughs> Oops. Mm -mm. Boing! Alright, now the other fun part is that Kafgarian crystallizes. It's the only time we see, uh... I hesitate to call him an NPC, but he really is, because he's not a, a generic. Um, it's the only time we see an NPC crystallize, I think. Excellent mortal. See you soon, Connor. I mean, I guess that makes sense. He runs away and then... Don't go far. He runs away and then we're like, hey, let's do battle. We have to chase him down and, and he's like, but you haven't seen my ultimate form. Ha 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 ha. It makes sense. Moloch being here on the field with a countdown timer. Okay, there is a countdown timer on Moloch. Uh, let's go. I don't have enough for another flash ray. Flash ray would be so useful right now. Let's try this one. Then we'll go with an Osmos. Or, well, I don't know. Do I have enough magic for that? Because I learned Bless. Armor break. I don't like you. I think I have an extra though. Two. Please line up. Oh, almost lined up. Hell, I or carve model. But I think I can still get the one. I can also take this turn to get the gate open in my first tactics playthrough. Like my first successful tactics playthrough. Um, I for I didn't pay attention to the cutscene. For some reason, I missed that one part in the cutscene where they open the gate. And I never knew that you could. Nope, can't get that far. And it would hit Chelsea. That's a bad idea. Can I airblade? Good night. Yes. Not at a great chance of success, but something. There we go. So I didn't know you could open the gate and have, like, Ramza join the fight outside or his people join the fight inside. It was a fantastic mess my first time there. Um, you don't have... Oh, you have enough for this. 
78 MP. That is so much easier than risking a mischance. I like it. Um, let's go here. You have a higher MA anyway. Let's go with Hadoka. Alright, ladies, bring her down! Yeah. 85% chance, unless I miss, she goes down here and she doesn't get the turn. Boom, we're done. Could have been bad. I hope Simon is alright. Let's go! Isn't Simon dead? Like, have we been given any hint that Simon is anything other than dead at this point? Do you want to save? Yes, but I do not want to save in my base game. So we'll save here in the second slot where I can go back and fix it if I need to. Do you need armor? I do have another battle gear. I think that's the only change I need to make, though. I always hated playing through this game. Like, any point where I played through this game and I had a multi-stage battle like that, and somebody broke my gear. Because I... More often than not, I forgot to fix the fact that I didn't have gear. Okay, we're gonna do a little bit of playing around. Actually, what I'd like to do... I want you there, and I want you here. So the only way you get three... Oh, but he's gonna move, I bet. If I put them there, I bet I can get away with all twos. So the big opening thing with Quakelin, if you've never seen Tactics with Quakelin, is that he has a couple of nasty spells that, um, Nightmare being probably the worst, that are small AoE burst. And if you group up your units real tight, he gets off a lot of damage really fast. I've been impressed by you, Connor. I can now see how you could survive a battle against Magnus. You are a rare warrior and a good man. And now I'm going to punch your face in! But you don't need your interference anymore. I don't suppose you will join me, but I will still give you one more chance. Give me the stone, and you may leave my realm unharmed. Hard pass. You had my friend Simon killed. His body vanished. What do you know of this? Oh. Zombie Simon. I couldn't let my friend go. His spirit is trapped in that pile of flesh somewhere. I can't let a holy man miss the apocalypse of Ajora. I will put his spirit at ease when I take your life and the stone. Very bold. I am beyond your power. <laughs> Chocobo Dookie. Unlike Magnus, I am not a mere sorcerer. I have not simply empowered myself with a stone. I am one with an immortal spirit. I am a Zodiac Brave. So here we actually see, we've been told that the Zodiac Braves are actually a thing, but here we actually see one. Proper vessels for their spirits, appearance, and bloodlines. You two could have been host for one of us as well. And so there's the reveal that Connor's bloodline is worthy of a Zodiac host. You would surrender your very being for this power. You give up on your own free will. Power to change the world for the price of your soul? I am not that reckless. Pathetic. The stone is worthless in your hands. You can change not only the world, but the truth of everything with its power. Since you don't seem to understand, let me show you. Ba-ding!
but interesting. See, Quakelin is normally a one-on team fight. Do we have to face Simon, or is he just a roadblock? How about that? Surprised? Now let me have my fun. Let me hear your screams and suffering death cries. Beat Quakelin. What is Simon going to do? Yeah, he's just a ghost. Blah. Nightmare. Hate Nightmare. Oh, but Nightmare doesn't normally poison. I'd love to have Nightmare be just poison. Okay. Map. Simon is a holy priest. Status. He has white aid, blood sword, a latrine. PA1, ME1, Speed1, always undead. Cancel invitation. You know what undead means, though? Undead means that I can do some real damage to him with a potion. Can I get some barrages off on you? Better yet, I use a potion. Pew! Throw an item and Simon is out of the fight, at least for the moment. Pew! He got slowed. Yes. This is good. One, two. No. I can't get close enough. Turn. Wait, yeah. Slightly higher, I think, so this is gonna be my best bet to Airblade. Missed. Darn. Nope. Flash rain. You're gonna get two barrages off. I love it! Barrage. Slowed again. Flash rain, which is gonna deal a ton of damage. E and then barrage. And you are running strong, so you just keep going. Stasis sword, you Because I messed up. Ew. Again. It's not much in a double punch the face would be better, but I want him to heal off some of that poison. You don't need to move. Let's just flash him again. Make sure we're not hitting Chelsea. And wait. Cure. Quickly getting no moves is super helpful. And this is why you always go with your non-generics in your battle team. Boo! He's got, like, a bazillion hit points. And I can't track his hit points. Wait. Boo! Okay, he gets a turn. What's he gonna do? Bio Breath. 120 damage and poison. <laughs> Reset the brush. I'm gonna high potion you. Mm -hmm. 
no MP. That's fine. One, two, no. There. Let's go here. Holy sword, stasis solo. gets to go next. So let's set up the barrage. Let's see if I can set up the barrage. And then we will bless you with MP. Don't worry about it right now. What I want is the next one. One, two, Dead. I think Jenna needs MP now. Hey. I do like this brush thing though. Heal the slow. Or healing the poison. Slow. Or dead. That works too. Love barrage for single fights, especially if you can get the slow off. For large groups of low hit point stuff, it's not super useful, but big boss fight like this, yeah. How can I be losing? It's impossible! Worthless blood of Germanic. Ah, I'll be back when he can manifest in this world. Was he talking about us being the blood of Germanic? That would be a twist. Sign in! There's an evil rock sitting in, in the center of the floor, and we're all just staring at it. Because that... That is how we roll. St. Muran Temple. Ooh, funeral. Do we get to see this scene? This can't be it. Leave us! No, don't do that. Bad juju. They just walked through each other. It was fantastic. I waited at length for a report from... A report on Magnus. The news reached me faster than you did. In fact, news of Lukavi Bale reached my ears before your return as well. I'd hoped for good news before I faced you again, your highness. Silence! Our problems and your mistakes are piling up. As a high priest, this is my error. Trusting you with holy stones could be our downfall. Uh-oh. Magnus and the Beowulf will be handled. There are still fruits to be born of the stones, I promise. They are not the only issues. A man who Magnus targeted, Connor, may have taken up his cause. He took the life of Cardinal Draclao and his stone. Draclao had a stone, but are you sure that it is the reason for his death? Yes, and I find it odd that you didn't know this. Or are you playing the fool? Most of these details I knew, but I didn't assume a motive. As Connor is also your fault, your mistakes birthed his actions as well. No, not me! Did not mean to shirk responsibility, however, I feel confident that the stones have given us the power to dismiss such trifles now, and we'll have much more soon. Hmm, so funeral's in on it. I trusted you with the stones. Your vision swayed me. You promised me holy warriors and miracles that would put Ivelisse under my charge. Funeral wants to be in power. He wants to be king! Should have moved forward. Should be making negotiations and puppets of kings, not tripping over our own feet. Ease. I wished to return the good news across this land. My men are enmeshing themselves among the nobles. When the time comes, we'll have their ear and our pick of puppets. And finally... Cletian! 
I've been waiting. <laughs> he is? What do you have for me? The best. On with it. No patience for the miraculous. No, ever. Phew. Impressed? No. These men be rogues like Magnus. No, they are reliant on the stone's owner. Their powers can be removed. As time we shape the coming civil war, and first let's neutralize this Connor. We are the target of the church. My men can turn the tide of war. We only need one. A minion. I will face them. It will be my pleasure. Hmm. The death of the king shook the nobles. And rule by Ruvilio was unacceptable to the land's customs. I always hated this slow typing. Like, King's sister and adopted daughter was championed by Coltana himself, the king's cousin, Duke Clark, appointed Ornus, Vilia's son, and claimed guardianship. So the Lion War breaks out. Both dukes prepared for conflict. Gathered their generals and prepared troops to march upon the capital, Lasalia. This was the Lion War. Okay, so the timeline seems to be the same timeline, like the exact same timeline, just a different chain of events do you want to save? Yes. You just beat a Zodiac Brave who claimed to be immortal. Yes, I want to save. Do you want to save? Like, there's really a choice there. Bethla Garrison. So this should reveal some more players. It should be fun. Ah, it's all the same people. That's boring. True levels are great, but they seem to be well matched with the forces. Large commands, 100,000 deaths on each side are expected. We need an edge. Alright, tactics might deal a quick upper hand to faint towards the capital while we circle around. Perhaps we should strike Egros. Our foes are too clever for that. Risk too much. A bold gamble could win or lose this war. The troops would be exposed in enemy territory too long and supplies would be too stretched. It's too bad we cannot simply capture Solveig Dysdark or Larg himself. This is no laughing matter. War is waged in blood and dirt. Your chessboard mindset is an insult to those who risk it all on the battlefield. Cool your temper, Orlando. Both counsel me well. Inspired by this debate, I must say that chess analogy is perfect. Chess! My lord never spoke so coldly of soldiers, coldly of soldiers before. Enough! I wish to save the lives of our men. We take the king in as few moves as possible. Er, queen. Still a good analogy. Can we do this? We can't kill Ruvilia. Even if we can capture her, will it really stop Larg? We'll need an elite strike force to move into the palace while the rest of our army engages. Would it stop Larg? Possibly, regardless. It is necessary to move the princess to the throne. If we stand by, Orinus will naturally be crowned. Be he uncle or father, we cannot allow Lark to rule. It's for the people. We can't allow a corrupt royal family to oppress the people any longer. We fight! Public opinion, or at least those of nobles, will be swayed by moving now. If we wait, we will appear to be the agitator rather than liberator. I understand that nobles are pawns, no offense. I'm just 
is risked for a weak triumph of necessity. Sounds pathetic. I thought they called you Thunder God Sid. Enough! Disappointed in Orlando as normal. Time is war leader nears its end. Is there fire in your belly? Yes. I won't say this again. If any more of you disagree with my plans, go now. Understand, Orlando. Normally he fights Coltana on it. He's like, no, it's a bad idea. You're dumb. And Coltana's like, shut up, sit down, and do what I say. Seeing no end to the corruption of the church. I, Connor now speaking in first person, needed to reveal truth to the people of Ivelisse. Holy man murdering heretics would have trouble getting a message out. That's true. And true. So all I have to tell my story to the only person that could grant me security. The Queen of Evilies. Okay, this is gonna be fun. Uh, Ruvelia, as the Queen of Ivelisse, is not a character in original tactics. Alright, and we are at Lionel Castle, and we have the space up to Ozalia Imperial City to get. Sweet! Alright, I'm going to end it there. If you enjoyed the episode, I'm going to save should probably also move. Oops, save here. Just to make sure there's not some fun cutscene that I have missed. Uh, but if you enjoyed the episode, please like, comment, subscribe, do all this stuff. There's a cutscene? Battle? In Zeeland? This is odd. Oh, I will start with this next time. If you like, if you enjoyed, please like, comment, subscribe. All the other fun stuff. Um, I'll pick up right here, I guess, next time. And until then, enjoy your gaming. Goodbye.